Hi, this is Dan Gorder Passi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO Scale 2600 cubic foot air slide covered hopper from Athern. My example is decorated for the Santa Fe as a Class GA133 car. The newest date stencil I could find on this car is from 1968. Santa Fe had many similar hoppers that lasted into the 1980s and 1990s. This model has an MSRP of $48.98. The paint on the car is thin and opaque. The markings are crisp and all of the small writing is legible with magnification. I really like the subtle paint patches behind some of the stenciling. The ladders have very fine wire grab irons. The stirrups look good but seem slightly oversized compared to the other details. A standout feature is the fitting near each end for use with car pullers. These are also separately applied parts. End detail on the model is excellent. The car has separately applied grab irons. My car is missing a couple of rungs on the ladder. And the brake system plumbing on the B end is especially finely rendered. The brake platform is photo etched. There are no uncoupling levers or train line air hoses, but the car has brackets for both. The model is equipped with McHenry scale couplers. The couplers on both ends are high according to the KD height gauge. The roof walk on the top of the car is photo etched and has separately applied grab irons at the corners. The hatches are well done. I like the fine cross section of the ribs on the top of the car. There is delicate brake system detail on the bottom of the car. The plumbing for the discharge gates looks really good. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 3.7 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is 3.25 ounces. Overall, I like this car quite a bit. I can see adding some COTS block decals and heavy weathering to represent an aged Santa Fe hopper for my 1990s era. At this price level, I'd like to see the car include uncoupling levers and hoses, especially since Atherin already modeled the brackets. Many other cars in this price range include those details, so I'm going to take a spike for that. I'm going to take a spike for the missing ladder rungs. I'm also going to take a spike off for the coupler height. My final verdict is 7 out of 10 spikes.